This week on Original Coffee, you going to the J. Cole concert tonight? Yeah, neither are we. We'll go over some stuff to do while everybody is having fun at the Varsity. Also, there's going to be a whole lot of dancing happening on campus this week. Paige shows you everywhere you can boogie down. I'm Jordan. And I'm Jen. And, and this, this is, is Original, Original Copy. Welcome to Original Copy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Hicks, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Jennifer Vance. Good afternoon, everyone. Now, Jen, what are you planning on doing tonight? I don't know, Jordan. Probably, like, read a book, watch some TV, cook some dinner. Why are you asking? I, I thought you were going to ask me the same thing. Well, I thought we were, like, in the middle of a show. You know, we're not just, like, talking. Ugh, always ruining everything, Jen. I'll tell you what I'm doing anyway. I'm not going to the J. Cole concert at the Varsity. Tickets are sold out, the show is tonight, and I'll be sitting in my room sad as ever. Aw, well, it makes you feel any better? He performed at House of Blues in New Orleans last night, and everyone says he brought the house down. Yeah, Jen, that makes me feel great. Well, Jordan, instead of being depressed, why don't you do something productive with your day, something that'll make you happy? Like what? You could go on Hulu and watch Empire. Last week, the season finale of Empire aired and had a record number of viewers. It's been getting great reviews all season, so maybe it's worth catching up on. It's too much music, Jen. I'll just be reminded of the concert. Well, what do you suggest? I could pull a Rich Homie Quan and go to the concert anyway. Rich Homie Quan was denied access to a club in Miami last night after repeatedly reminding the security guard that he was a rich millionaire. After that, he was with Flo Rida and he punched the security guard in the face. He ran across the street and escaped on a speedboat. Yeah, some real Grand Theft Auto type stuff. Two things. One, you still wouldn't get to go to the concert. And second, you're not the kind of guy to just punch security guards in the face. You're right, Jen. Looks like I'm going to have to go catch up on Empire. Or homework. <laughs> what kind of joke is that? Homework? You said homework? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Paige, please take it away. Hello everyone and welcome to Paige on the Prowl. I'm Paige Vaughn here to update you on all of the hottest campus events. So it's almost that time. The time where you can go to the beach, let your hair down, and wear those short shorts and bikinis. Yep, you guessed it. Spring break is right around the corner. Unfortunately for me, I will be spending my spring break tackling some econ homework. But I wanted to hear about your spring break plans. For spring break, I plan on making money. For spring break, I'm going to Destin with my family and friends, and we're going to spend Easter there and get crazy. Uh, for spring break, I just plan on working and keeping up with my school projects. For spring break, I'm going to hunt cockatoos in Timbuktu. For spring break, I'm planning on going to Destin, Florida. It's my first time at the beach, so I'm excited. All right, so basically spring break 2015, I'm planning on sailing out to the Caribbean and literally just thanks well spending your spring break at the beach must be nice to have any fun in the sun but thank god for perfect now before you jet off to the beach there are a few days of school left and i have a few campus events for you to check out starting with silent disco come show off your best moves this thursday at eight on the parade grounds the silent disco will involve a bunch of music played through headphones and some dancing I hope you like Kevin Gates and you don't get tired because this event will last all night long. Now, if you're still in the dancing mood, come enjoy the National Panhellenic Council Probate on Friday. This event will begin at 7.06 in the Greek Theater. Be sure to get there early because this event will be packed. And if you haven't had enough dancing, come show off some of those moves Monday at the Hip Hop Night. This event will take place at 7 at the LSU Mini Born and will feature several LSU performers. Don't forget to wear all black on Wednesday in support of Blackout Wednesday. And remember, the Ebony Project Barbecue is kicking off Saturday at 1 at the Alpha Phi Alpha House. Now, back to our really angry host. Coming up after the break, I'm angry about something, and you're going to hear a whole lot about it in the rain. Also, Leanna Panetta fills us in on another mishap from the Kardashian family. Stay with us for more Hashtag Original Coffee. Hey, Tiger fans. Welcome to The Talk the destination to find anything and everything that is up and coming, trending, and fashionable. I'm your host, Leanna Pineda. 
One Direction group member Zay Malik left the band's world tour after rumors of him cheating on fiance Perry Edwards went rampant. Malik replied to the rumors with this tweet, saying, quote, I'm 22 years old, I love a girl named Perry Edwards, and there's a lot of jealous expletives in this world. But recently surfaced pictures of Malik with another woman may tell a different story. Hopefully Malik's tweet is right and these rumors are just that. The Kardashian clan is on the news once again, and it's not for the reason that you may think. Rob Kardashian Instagram a rather snarky post about his sister Kim over the weekend. Rob posted a picture of the psychopathic character Amy Dunn captioned, this is my sister Kim, the B from Gone Girl. The picture was posted after the youngest Kardashian child unfollowed his entire family on Instagram, sparking rumors that he was at odds with his family once again. Rob refollowed his family, but hasn't removed the picture from his page. There's still more on original copy, so let's take it back to Jen and Jordan at the desk. I'm angry, Jen. So angry this week. Oh, really, Jordan? That is so unlike you. Cam 3! This no, week... No, 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 no. Excuse me, Jen, I was about to rant. No, no. Why do you always have to be angry over something? No one ever asks how I feel on this show. I just sit here while you complain every day about how Batman isn't in enough movies or how Kiki Palmer won't return your phone calls. Cam 1. No, that is Cam 3. Not, not me this Cam time. One. Cam 1. Thank you. I'm over it. I'm angry. So now it's my turn because... It's time for the rant of the week. My rant is simple. Every week, Paige gets a segment. Kayla and Leanna take turns, Jordan gets a rant, and I get a few lines for some shout outs and a few head nods. Isn't the producer supposed to make everyone feel like a vital part of the team? Yeah, Josh, I'm looking at you right now. How come I don't get as many lines as Jordan? Is it because I'm a girl? It's not okay. I work just as hard as the rest of this cast, and I don't even get to say my own name at the beginning of the show. Look at this. Welcome back to Original Copy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Hicks, and with me as always is Jennifer Vance. Welcome back to Original Copy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Hicks, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Jennifer Vance. Welcome back to Original Copy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Hicks, and with me, as always, is Jennifer Vance. I remember when we started Hashtag Original Copy, we were new and a little rough around the edges, but at least I got to say my piece. You're going to let this be the anchor of the show? Come on. Jordan, Josh, ladies, I love you all, but I just want a little more love from y'all. Don't forget, I'm here too. Jen, I'm sorry. I had no idea we made you feel that way. Girls, come in the shop, please. We love Jen, don't we? Like, like, come here, come here. It's all right. I just, I just had to get my, I, I'm sorry. No, um, it's, it's okay, but I don't, I don't like hugging, so y'all could not, yeah. Give me a hug, Jen. No, that's we not funny. We didn't mean it. Don't Everyone hug, hug Jen. Don't hug me. Everyone come in no. and hug Jen, please. No, we'll be right back after Jordan lets go of me. Welcome back to Original Copy, everyone. Jordan has finally let me out of his vice grip of a hug, and now it's time for us to do some... Please, Jen, don't take my favorite part of the show away from me. Okay, Jordan, what time is it? It's time for some shout-outs! Can I get a shout-out? Shout-out to Jennifer Lawrence for moving on to bigger and better things. The actress announced she'll be leaving the X-Men franchise after next year's release, X-Men Apocalypse. And honestly, it's time. Lawrence has played the sultry mystique since 2011 in X-Men First Class. Here's to you, J-Law. You do you and win some more Oscars. Shout out to women for ruling the box office. Movies like Cinderella, Insurgent, and even the repulsing Fifty Shades of Grey have audiences made up of up to 70% women so far in 2015. And noticeably, male-led movies like Hot Tub Time Machine 2, Chappie, and The Gunman have fizzled at the box office. All this is just a testament to how amazing women are. Yes, Jen, y'all are amazing. Louder, Jordan. I need to, like, hear it. I need to feel it. Women are the greatest people to ever walk the earth. I bow down to all of my female overlords. Yes. I love to hear it. No, don't stop bowing. Keep doing it. Yes, okay. <laughs> On behalf of everyone here at Original Copy, myself and Jordan included, thanks for watching and remember to keep it OC. This time she said my name.